Hey guys, it's Craig here. Welcome back to CraigTube. And this is a dungeon video because as I promised quite some time ago, I would show you the rest of the new dungeon. So, I, and I do have a beer. I, I have a beer. So that's part of the CraigTube tradition. Cheers. So, let me take the camera off the tripod here. And I'll give you a little a little walk around here, down here, and show you what we've got. So I figured we may as well start with the dungeon stairway. Let's shut the door. And uh, down here we have just an old rug that I put down here for the heck of it from our old living room. Uh, the we're gonna go left here. I mean, right. Sorry. This is this is the brewing area. So you can sort of see what we've got here. There's some wine brewing over there. A couple of fermenters I've got to clean. Uh, this is my workbench, sort of in disarray as usual. I'm usually working on something. Um, these are the shelves I I had in the other place up mounted up for putting things up there. And uh, I know someone's going to ask who that is. Well, that's actually my dad. This was taken many years ago. We went on a houseboat trip. I mean, many years ago when I was a kid. And he's uh, hung over. <laughs> he's driving the boat with his boat with his feet, and he's uh, talking on the CB to the boat behind him. So that was probably take that was probably shot in like late seventies. So my mom gave me that. It's kind of faded in that, but you know, it's one of our family heir family heirlooms. So this is just the brewing section, and uh, we've got uh, some storage and stuff. Um, there's a sump pump there. There's my laundry area here, and uh, that's the way it is. So what I'll do is I'll come all the way to the back of as far back as I can go there's my little sign that was sent in many years ago and we'll just turn around I'm trying to go as slow as I can for all you motion sickness people and there's the length of the uh, basement here that big square thing is just a video light for shooting video and so uh, yeah that's uh, kinda what we've got so we'll slowly um, walk this way just a couple boxes of stuff I haven't unpacked there's my refrigeration unit it's kind of in a little cove where the fuse box is and everything there's the stairs we just came down I'll just pan over this way um, we've got the furnace some more stuff a hot water heater some more stuff and yeah so I'll come over this way there's my beloved uh, Yamaha DX7 one of the most popular keyboards in the world especially during the 80s and mine still works um, around here we've got some storage area this is probably gonna be a bit dark but that's fine you don't need to you know it's just storage We can uh, see the, we can put things under the stairs and whatnot, so that's cool. So we'll back out of there. And we will enter the, what I would call, I guess, the studio. Being as that I do live broadcasts from here and I make music sometimes. There's my, there's my electronic drums. Those things are amazing. I play them live every Friday night on my live show. Um, a couple of cameras that I use for my live show, turntable, um, oh, my records, I don't have a lot, but that's enough for me, um, just a, a you know, a lounging couch or whatever, 
I've got a computer monitor there right now, but that's, that's just temporary. Just panning around. There we have it. There we have it. My two Fluence turntables, which I really love a lot. They're awesome. Now there's insulation. Um, this wall here is concrete because it joins to the house next door. Um, but all of the other places are insulated and it's covered in plastic. So it's safe and there's no problem. I'm probably not going to finish the basement because to tell you the truth, the um, acoustics down here are really good for recording and live broadcasting and things like that. Um, if I was to drywall this place, we're going to have problems with standing waves and echo and stuff. So no, this is this is great acoustic treatment, to tell you the honest truth. That's my speakers and my computer. So, that's it. I'll go to the other end of the basement here as far back as I can. Whoops. And we'll take a look down to the other end there. It's kind of like a bowling alley, really. So... That's it. So I'm happy down here. It's cool. It's lots of room. It's very clean. Organized. Everything has its place. And uh, that's the dungeon. The new Craig Tube dungeon. Okay. Here we go. And don't forget to check my live broadcast on Friday nights at... 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's Toronto, Ontario time, 10 p.m. Friday nights. We go for six hours. Great tunes. Uh, retro, you know, music, you know, from the 60s, 70s, 80s. Uh, we play vinyl uh, and uh, we have a great chat room. Uh, the, one of the best chat rooms around. Uh, very, very nice people there. A lot of good friends. We've been hanging out for years. Uh, and so that's a great time and, and I talk and stuff and we take calls and it's just great So if you can't sleep on Friday night, that's where you should probably end up I'll put the link down below in the description and all that kind of stuff, too. All right. Thank you so much for watching Enjoy your home brew. Hope you can get your ingredients. Okay If you can't well, you got to go to the uh, grocery store and get some apple juice and uh you know, make sure you hang on to your, uh, your yeast packages because you never know. You never know when you might have to ferment something up like apple juice or grape juice or something like that because, uh, you know, who knows? In an emergency, it's good to be a home brewer because you know how to do it. Now, no matter what you've got on hand, uh, we can make it work. All right. Thanks so much. Cheers. 17. B safe.